Burgos. It's a pedestrian-friendly city straddling its river. Stately plane trees line the riverside promenade, giving shade through the hot days. Its main square seems designed to bring the community together. Today's Burgos feels workaday, but with a hint of gentility and former power. Like so many towns here in the north of Spain, it became important during the Reconquista, that centuries-long struggle to push the Muslim Moors back into northern Africa from where they came. Its position on the community Santiago and as a trading center helped it to flourish. For five centuries, Burgos was the capital of the Kingdom of Castile. It's dominated by an awe-inspiring Gothic cathedral designed by French architects in the 13th century, with its lacy spires added by German architects in the 14th. The ornate exterior is matched by its lavish and brightly lit interior. In Spain, the final flowering of the Gothic age was the elaborate plateresque style. As was typical of Gothic churches, it's ringed by richly decorated chapels built over the centuries by and for wealthy parishioners. This chapel is dedicated to Saint Anne, the Virgin Mary's mother. Its 15th century altar features the Tree of Jesse. A sleepy and apparently very fertile Jesse slumbers at the bottom, sprouting a lineage that connects him to the Holy Child and Virgin. This sumptuous chapel marks the tomb of a regional governor and his wife under a brilliant star-shaped vault. It's striking for its gracefulness and femininity.